says like, 300 is going to be the best card you've ever seen. When you see the first fight on the early prelims, you're going to shit your pants. You guys can't handle the main event. And, and then he made it his announcement. What's up, guys? I am here in the Honda Center in Anaheim, California, and I'm going to announce the main event for UFC 300 right now. It will feature Alex Pereira defending his light heavyweight title against Jamal Hill. <laughs> Um, welcome to MMA Flicks and Chill, my friends, and please subscribe and support the channel because I've been working real hard, making lots of videos. You guys watch it. Seems like you enjoy it, uh, but it's not, you know, I'm not getting subscribers, oh. which means everybody's just watching it and they're like, Haha, that's good stuff. And then just move on to the next video, but go ahead and subscribe. Because if you like the content, you might want to see more of it anyway. And I've got jokes. I put jokes in my videos. You just have to, they're like little Easter eggs. You got to watch the whole video and find the little jokes. I do little cool video edits. Go watch my last video. It's the UFC 298 reaction video. There's some good jokes in there. Let me know what you think of the Mackenzie Dern segment. <laughs> And um, also when I'm talking about like people calling out Conor McGregor, there's a good little Easter egg joke in that one too. But anyway, let's talk about UFC 300. Dana worked us up so much. And, you know, it's it reminds me of the episode of The Office. Have you ever seen the episode of The Office? I think it's called um, Health Insurance. He's supposed to cut insurance plan to a cheaper plan, so he gives... He gives the job to Dwight to cut insurance benefits down because he knows it's going to upset the whole office, right? And so he keeps telling the whole office, I have a big surprise for you. I have a, you, you guys are going to love this. It's a huge surprise. And he, and he asked them, what do you think the big surprise is? And they're like, we, we don't think you have a big surprise. At the end, they're like, what, well, where's our huge surprise? And he's like, okay, you ready? Here it comes. <laughs> And the big surprise is, well, that's what UFC 300 kind of reminds me of with Dana White. I think all the deals he wanted to happen were slipping through his fingers, but he doesn't want us to know about it. He wants us to stay hyped about it. Now, I have two theories about this. I have two theories about this announcement. One theory is that all of his deals slipped through his fingers. I'm not saying this isn't a good fight. It's a good fight, but it's not. The reason everybody's upset is because, or disappointed, not, well, there's some upset, but mostly disappointed is because Dana promised us like something super epic, like Jesus first Satan in the octagon, something, something epic, big. And um, I think he just built it up too much. And all the deals fell through and kind of just slipped through his fingers. And he's like, he's like Jamal. He said it with confidence too, like Jamal Hill through Alex per versus Alex Pereira. And this is going to be the ultimate fight, the ultimate throwdown. And we're just kind of like, uh, dude, no, no, it's a good fight. It's a good fight. And you know what? It's like, it's definitely a pay-per-view fight, not a fight night headliner, but it's not. Come on, man. You know, and um, that's generally the way everybody feels. So that's my first theory. It slipped through his fingers. All, all the big, big things he was trying to put together just slipped through his fingers. The timeline wasn't lining up and it is what it is. So my second theory is that this could be a misdirection. So he's like, here's the fight, guys. Now, why would he do that? Why would he misdirect us? And why would he start now? Well, the answer is he he's already done it. He's done it all through the UFC. The last example I can think of is Hamzat Shamayev versus Nate Diaz. And 
the last day they do a little switcheroo, have them fight Tony Ferguson and have Hamzat fight Kevin Holland. And everybody went nuts. Here's the thing. You know, when you were a kid and there's just this jerk kid and then you get in a fight with him, you get in a fight and then you kind of become friends after that. There's like a respect, like there's like a respect there. Um, it also happens with friendships and, and relationships. Like if you fight, it's like sometimes you can come out the other side more happy and satiated with this person than you were before because you got all the tension out. Now, it's a psychological technique that they use in marketing and promotion. So they, he's given us emotion. So we're all excited, like, blah, 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 yay, 300. And then he's like, Jamal Hill versus Alex Pereira. And we're like, eh, oh, okay. Uh, all right, so that that's it. So my second theory is that he's doing that on purpose and he really does have something big in his back pocket. I don't know what that could be. I don't know what it could be. But it is possible because he's done it before and he understands that psychological structure of promoting and advertising, right? It's sociology is what it is. All right. So in the post-fight press conference last night, because it's Sunday still to me, um, Dana mentions that he threw three different opponents at Leon Edwards and Leon said yes to all of them. And Dana was like super impressed with, he thought that was savage. He was like, dude, this dude's awesome. Leon Edwards doesn't say no to anybody. Th this kid is an absolute stud. Um, he's had like three opponents thrown at him dur during UFC 300. Yes, yes, yes. Was willing to take on anybody, man. Kid's an absolute stud. Leon, thank you. Much respect. Now, what, opponents could he have thrown his way the reporter asked him and dana's like no i'm not gonna tell you which like that means he has something up his sleeve guys it means he has something up his sleeve right so i kind of the more i'm talking about it, i kind of have the have a feeling that leon edwards might be fighting the main event on 300 i told you to calm down i can't give you attention right now so I'm going to tell you who I think the three opponents that Dana threw at Leon Edwards are. There's only a handful of people they could be to begin with, but what fights would excite us enough to put it at the main event of 300? It has to be a title fight. I mean, it doesn't have to be if you bring in like Connor and just you know, Jorge Maz, Maz Vidal or something like that, right? But that would be a crazy fight. We would be okay with that, right? But we're talking about Leon here. So if it's a champion, it's, if it's a championship fight, then they probably offered him Shavkat and Leon said, okay. And then they probably offered him Hamzat. And he said, well, okay. And then who was the third one? I think that they offered him. Oh, I just realized another one. It could be too. Oh, so yeah. Another one that we would love would be Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz. That one that that's not a title fight, but we'll take it. Right. Um, yeah. Who was, yeah. Conor. Offer Leon, he probably offered Leon Edwards Connor or even a Nate Diaz rematch. That would be sick, right? So, it, I think it was one of those people. It was either Shab, it was probably Shabkat, Hamzat, Connor, and Nate. I think, I think those are the names that would be mixed up in the three people that they offered Leon that Leon said yes to.
I didn't catch the reason he said Leon couldn't do it. Was it an injury? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at with UFC 300. I think that I'm leaning more toward misdirection. I don't think the main event is going to be Alex Pereira and Jamal Hill. I think something's going to happen. Someone's going to get injured or have a reason they can't make the fight, and then they're going to switch it up at the last minute to just make us go nuts, and it'll pump up their pay-per-view numbers, which is genius. And speaking of numbers that need to be pumped up, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'm trying to get to 1,000 before my 46th birthday. I'm trying to get there before my birthday on August 8th. I need 1,000 subscribers, but real subscribers, you know, people that Love MMA and love chatting about it. And that's you. So subscribe to the channel and like this video. Go check out the other video that I did last, the UFC reaction video for 298. It's really, really, really good. Look out for the Mackenzie Dern segment and look out for the part where I talk about Conor McGregor callouts. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Ring that bell. Chill. Thank you for kicking in with MMA Flex and Chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell. Ring the bell.